with the Lord. So when that person walks away from the Lord, Satan will influence that person and they won't even know what they're doing. They think they are doing the right thing, not realizing it is all wrong. Because distancing yourself from God will lead to spiritual blindness. Distancing one's self from God will lead to spiritual blindness. And today the world is spiritually blind. Doesn't matter you see physically. The physical sight is nothing compared to the spiritual sight. Without the spiritual sight, the physical one is blind even if it's opened. It's blind. That's why the world is acting absolute in blindness. And they are saying we are geniuses. The medical field is so advanced, we can, we can modify viruses. The scientific field is so advanced, we can prove the existence of the universe. Give us another 13.5 billion years, we'll let you know. Because it's been over 13.5 billion since something exploded. So they need another 13.5 to find out whether they came from a gorilla or not. So the geniuses, they are now boast, boasting about their superpower weapons. So come, Mr. Genius, you've created the nuclear weapon, correct? Yes, I'm a genius. Wow. So your wisdom, your genius led you to total human destruction. What a genius. So one rocket in Australia, you can kiss it goodbye. So this is the intelligence of the human being. Oh, and in recent times, it's gradually coming on board and it's going to explode, and I pray not, the AI, artificial intelligence. What a bunch of losers. <laughs> Miserable losers, they don't know any better. Blinded by Satan. Why? Because they denied God, who is Jesus Christ. Satan is controlling them. Brilliant, genius losers. Well, when someone distance themselves from God, that will lead them to spiritual blindness. On the other hand, if someone gets closer to God, you'll be reading His Word. You'll be living His Word. And when you live His Word, you are in the light. And when you're in the light, Satan, who is darkness, cannot comprehend you. Because... What overcomes darkness is the light. Darkness cannot overcome the light. Why? Because darkness is non-existent. What scientists can measure is the light, not darkness. Because God never created darkness. Because darkness is the result of the absence of light. And that's why when Jesus Christ comes, who is the light of the world, as he said, when he comes, Satan cannot exist anymore because Satan is darkness. When the light shines forth, darkness can only do one thing, disappear. Be close to the Lord. So your spiritual eye is opened. And when your spiritual eye is opened, I can show you my beloved child it is then and then only you'll understand this world is vanity. What are you chasing? I don't know what the church is doing. They're attacking someone talking about the Lord. Hey, listen. Wake up, you blind. Instead of putting your hand in my hand and my hand in your hand and going seeking our lost children, which Satan has taken to the world, has taken him to drugs, alcoholism, gambling, destructive things. Instead of coming together, uniting, you blind people, uniting, uniting. Oh. 
Now, this person doesn't say Jesus Christ is two natures. He says one nature. Get in life, man. What a sick mentality. Sick. Our sons and daughters are being lost by the day to Satan. And look at us geniuses talking about things we will never fully understand. Can anyone come and explain to me the nature of God? Until when are you going to remain sick in the head? Until when? You Catholics, you Orthodox, you Protestant. Until when? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Everyone says I'm right, yet everyone is wrong. Everyone. Where is the wisdom? Where is the intelligence here? We need to come together to save our sons and daughters from the mouth of Satan. We're too busy attacking each other. We're too busy attacking each other. Until when? Until when? We embraced the pandemic. And now we're embracing the LGBT. Geniuses. Geniuses. Absolute geniuses. Absolute geniuses. Do you see how Satan has blinded even Christendom? Why? Because we became too preoccupied with the throne. We forgot the honor of the throne. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> if you are so right about your faith and you hold the truth, you should have stood against evil in 2020. If you hold the truth, shouldn't you be standing and being a warrior for the truth? Where were you in 2020? You were encouraging your flock to put the pin in their bodies. Why? Because traitors do that. Cowards do that. Not real men of God. Blind people do that. Not those who are opened by the hand of the almighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So you're telling me about talking about truth? Don't ever talk about truth. Because you're blind. You're blind. And I'm speaking with love. But love can cry out in the wilderness of this world too. <laughs> I'm not angry. This is a holy zeal for the house of the Lord. Holy zeal. I'm not angry. I love you. I'll cook you red rice, tabbouleh, baba ghanoush, anything you want. Italian, uh, Italian pizza, whatever you want, brother. I don't, but we need to wake up. Enough, man. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, honestly. <laughs> Please drop in your comments and questions. Please like and subscribe.